How's it going everybody and welcome back to another Fusion 360 Tips and Tricks tutorial. Again, my name is Adam James, I'm a plastics engineer with years of experience using CAD engineering software. It's Saturday morning and of course I've got a fresh cup of coffee. So you know it's going to be another great video. Uh, don't mind the allergies here, uh, they seem to be more prevalent down in California than ever. Uh, so that's what the stuffy nose is uh, and the teary eyes. In this episode, we're going to identify how to align the center of a sketch on the center of a face of another component within Fusion 360. What? Maybe that sounds a little confusing at first, but essentially we're going to have a sketch plane and we need to center another sketch on top of that. So say you've got a box, right? And you have a sketch and you want to sketch something on the side of the box. What's the best way to constrain that and save time all at once, right? Now, some new features have been added in some of these new uh, software updates. So I'll go over both the old way that I would have done this using maybe some construction lines and then some of the new ways as well, which may save some time in the long run, right? So with that being said, let's jump on over to Fusion. Uh, I have the forum post pulled up here just like my last video. The title is How to Constrain the Center Point of a Rectangle Sketch to a Plane. I also, in my last video, linked the old forum post at the bottom of the video. So at the bottom of this video, I'm going to link this forum post uh, so that you guys can refer reference it later. And at the very end, or probably around the same date that I posted this, you'll see my video in the forum comments as well. Go ahead and give it a like. So, M. Pulliam 6CT22 uh, on June 15th, 2016, so a few years ago, they say, how to constrain the center point of a rectangle sketch to a plane. Newbie here, well, that's okay. Someone please walk me through this. How do I align the midpoint of a rectangle sketch on the midpoint of a face of an extruded surface? I can find the center of a rectangle by drawing two construction lines from opposing corners of the rectangle. Is there an easier way? I have tried unsuccessfully to use the move tool, the midpoint constraint, the project pool tool, and the align tool. I'm trying to move the lower rectangle sketch to the center of the dark gray rectangle just above. It is the side of an extruded rectangle. So there is a solution here. Uh, before clicking on that, I'd like to give it my approach. So what we'll do here, uh, we are in Fusion 360 now, I'm just in the constrained center point of a rectangle sketch. Can't even see the rest of what I named it, so we'll just leave that as it is. Um, we'll just save this really quick as center sketch. Right. And we will create a new sketch on we on? Jesus is all. Uh, let's do the top plane. Okay, and we'll just do an arbitrary rectangle offset from the origin. And let's extrude this. Okay, so let's go back to the post really quick. I am trying to move the lower rectangle sketch to the center of the dark gray rectangle just above it. Okay, so what I think he's trying to do, and I'll go through the post at the end just to make sure I'm aligned, but I'm assuming you say we're trying to create a sketch on the side of this rectangle, and we've got another rectangle out here. And you want this rectangle to be centered on this one. And I, I did the rectangle offset of the origin for the reason because, of course, you could 
you could do a centered rectangle to begin with and then the origins there and that's that's like cheating that's not really solving the problem right so uh let's see how i would have originally done this is probably taken this right click move copy brought this somewhere close right press okay and then press p for project and you can project the box and it will give you all of the edges as well um, that is relatively new in an update. I think you used to have to go and select all those edges individually. Uh, but then what I probably would have done, uh, this was an old old me or young me, I guess, right? Let's go like this, construction line here. Another construction line, cool. And do symmetric or symmetry. So we got this guy, command select both of those and this guy. So now they're symmetric about this axis. And let's pull up the symmetry constraint one more time. Left click, command, left click, and the midpoint. Okay. So I mean, this is about as centered as you're going to get, in my opinion, right? So that's one approach. So we'll keep that on that side. And then let's jump on. I want to hide this sketch now. So you can just click on this little eye here and it'll hide it. Let's go to the other side and do a new sketch. Similar approach, though. Um, let's grab our rectangle sketch it out like this on the edge. And what we'd like to do is eliminate a couple of those steps that we had to include, right? We've got some updates, we've got some new constraints, and that's the purpose of these updates within Fusion 360, right? It's to make your life easier. So this midpoint constraint can eliminate a couple of those steps. So if we click on the top edge of that sketch that we created, and the top edge of the box, notice that we didn't even have to use the project tool. It automatically recognized what we were trying to do and snapped to it. So it's at the midpoint. It's aligning symmetrically about that axis. Now we could do the same thing. Click midpoint. I'm missing it. So there we go. Midpoint on our sketch on the edge of that box and boom. Now, the one thing about using this midpoint tool is it's going to snap it exactly to the specification um, in accordance to the box on the outside, right? So unless you want it exactly the same, uh, it may not be the best solution for you. But I'm curious, actually, if we delete some of these coincidence constraints, if it'll keep those midpoint constraints and allow us to bring it in a little bit. I haven't done this, so... Oh god, no. Actually, this is... So those were just coincident constraints on the corners for the lines, so that doesn't work. Um, I'm going to give this another shot. Let's hide this sketch. Let's go on this side of the box. Oh, and I always forget to close out of this. Just kind of declutter what we're working with here, right? Um, so another way to do this is go to line. And what I really like about some of these new updates, you don't necessarily have to project all your lines anymore, right? It, it automatically knows what you're snapping to. Originally, you'd have to go through and press P, project all these, and it was kind of a time suck. So this automatically knows it's in the center. So you could draw a center line right here, go all the way down, click on this left click, X for construction, and what you could do is put a point right at the middle. Uh, a sh be careful to ensure it's not snapping to that origin point, which of course it is right now. Okay, as we're zooming in, there it is. 
So once we see that triangle, that is the midpoint of the line we just drew. And then from here, what we can do is go to rectangle, center rectangle, and boom. We can also use a combination of constraints. So uh, now that we've got this centered rectangle, uh, we can use some symmetry constraints as well. So let's go left click, com hold command, left click, middle line. Oh, whoops, that already exists. So where am I messing up here? Oh, we're not trying to, it's already symmetric, right? So um, if we want this maybe a certain distance from the edge, we can just do D for dimension, left click, left click, maybe five millimeters or whatever units we're using. And then left click, left click, five millimeters, <clears throat> perfect. And you can edit those accordingly and it'll keep the symmetry as well. Uh, so I think this is solved in my opinion. Gave you guys a couple of different ways and combination of ways that you can use this to center a sketch, whether or not you draw it on the face to begin with. Uh, so let's go back to that form post, make sure I'm checking off all the boxes. Uh, Jeff Strader mentions, yes, drawing construction lines is the best approach here. Okay, well we used construction lines at one point. Construction lines from the corners of the face plus the rectangle you want to move is what I would do. If you center if you use a center point rectangle to draw your rectangle, you get those construction lines made for you. Okay, good point. Uh, so how do I align the center of the sketch on the center of the face? Well, we kind of went about that. Let's, so someone makes a screencast kind of doing a similar demonstration as I did. Uh, I'm trying to get clarification from the original post. Let's see here. Okay, M. Polium 62 T22. Uh, need some more coffee. Oh wait, I'm not trying to change the center of a sketch. I didn't think he was. Just trying to align the center of a sketch on the center of the face of another component. Sorry if the language, if my language isn't clear. Okay, I think that solves the forum post. So I will go ahead and post that on the forum itself and feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, these series I'm going to try to pump out hopefully once a week. Sounds about right for now. I don't understand. Hey Siri, I'm going to try to pump out, but I could search the web for it. Huh. Okay. Well, Siri, we can, we can not. Um, I look forward to it and, uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.